So we're just going to start sitting. You might need two blocks to have those handy. And we're just bringing hands down onto the knees. Let's just slowly spiral up through the spine. Allow the shoulders to just release uh, back and down. So you feel that subtle lift just at the breastbone there. Good. Feeling the length through the lower back. And then see where the weight is in the sitting bones. So I know I have a tendency to lean forwards. I'm always in a bit of a rush. <laughs> so if that's you, just see if you can draw back to so a little more neutral. It's much less stress on the on the vagus nerve. And then if you know, if you feel more weight at the back of the sitting bones and tailbone, it might be you're sinking a little bit. So see if you can just draw up a touch. And it might not be instant. It might take a while. It might take months to be able to get that lift, and that's okay. It takes a while to uncurl the body. That's all right, but just have that awareness and build slowly on those postural improvements. It's an ongoing work for all of us. Okay, and then once you feel nice and centered with regards to the weight and where it is over the top of the pelvis, then bring your awareness. I invite you to bring your awareness to your breath. So breathing in, just nice and slowly, nose or mouth, it's all good. It's all good. Slow deep inhale. Slow deep exhale, just allow that jaw to relax, maybe just use the mouth to help the jaw relax as well. Slow deep inhale, exhale. Okay, and then we just start to move a little bit now. So just starting to circle around. As always, just warming up the spine first before we, before we move on. Okay, just coming back round the other way. You just rolled out of bed. You might be a little stiff in the lower back. So we just give that a nice bit of movement. Okay, and then just coming all the way back to, all the way back to center. Let's float the arms up now. We're just interlace the fingers, press the palms up. Good, and again, see what that does to the lower back. If you take the arms all the way back up overhead, it might arch the spine. I like to bring my arms forwards a little. I find I can maintain neutral a little better. And then just soften the shoulders down, bend the elbows just a touch. Lift the chin away from the chest. Inhale, exhale. Reaching over to the right side now, pop the right hand down onto the mat. Left palm remains facing up as you gently reach over. Just pausing here. Good job. And then back to center. See if you can take the different interlace this time. It'll feel a little bit odd, be less dominant. And again, just pausing here, soften those front ribs in, over to the left now, left hand down, and then reach up and away with the right arm from there. Good job. Great. Okay. And then coming back to centre. Taking the legs out to either side now, Kanasana style, press into the heels. I invite you to not take the legs as wide as you can physically go, just about two thirds. We're going to fold forwards, it's going to get more intense now. So just let the hands come forwards, spread out the fingers. We're just warming up, so take it easy, please. Press into the heels, draw the toes back towards you. Shoulders just dropping back and down. Breathing in, breathing out, maybe taking that a little bit further. Good. Okay, one more breath there. And then just take your time now to come all the way back up. Good, okay. Pop the feet now flat to the floor, hands to the mat behind you, and just let the legs drop side to side. Okay, coming all the way back. All right, we're gonna float the legs round to the right side now. We'll just take one more um, sideways bend. So bringing the left arm up, right hand onto the mat, and then coming up and over, but not sinking low. We need to keep the height, height through the spine, through the ribs, and then reach up and over from there. At the same time, draw the belly button in. Tuck the tailbone in a little bit too. So although you're going into a lateral bend, you're also quite neutral. Okay, good job. All right, back to center, bringing that right leg up and over now for Maxi and Drasana, just gentle though. So 
Keep your hips again nice and level. Let that right sitting bone drop down. If it doesn't drop down, take your blocks and pop those underneath the bum. Take now right arm behind you and gently draw the right leg in using your left hand or arm. Again, take the spine around, but lifting at the same time. Chin just level to the floor. The face is relaxed. Hold it here. Inhale and slowly exhale. And then coming all the way back round from there. Nice, okay. So bringing the feet around to the left side now and then taking the right arm up. So really opening the rib cage today. So again, softening the shoulders down, breath in. Exhale, just coming up and over. Enjoy that space through the side of the waist, side ribs, etc. Again, shoulders just softening down, chin just lifting away from the chest. And again, getting that tailbone to tuck in just a little. Feel the change in the pelvic floor activity. Belly button draws in. Keep breathing. All right, good job. Back to centre. Left leg up and over now. <clears throat> Let's go. Turning to the left. Right arm either up and over or just gently hug the leg in using the right hand. And then left hand to the floor behind you. Again, shoulders just drawing back and down. Chin is level to the floor. Just pausing here. Inhale, exhale. Excellent, good. One more breath. Okay, and then again, just coming all the way back round to centre. Good. So ready to flow a little bit now. Let's come on to hands and knees. We'll start with child's pose. So just taking the knees apart, bringing the big toes to touch and let the arms just reach forwards from there. You could take a block and just pop that under the head if that feels more comfortable to you. Just under the forehead and then just reaching out. Again, just spreading the fingers. Enjoy that stretch across the lower back and into the sacroiliac joints. It's a little tricky. You can always place props underneath the bottom. That will take pressure off the knees. Give a nice big expansive inhale. Feel the ribcage opening, making more space around all the lungs, the kidneys, all the lungs, like you've got 10. All the organs, I meant to say. Kidneys, lungs, heart digestive system and then coming all the way back up onto hands and knees okay so let's come up onto the fingertips now we're going to roll on up through the spine let the head release down as you do so and then release let the lower back drop just a little lift the chin and tailbone up again enjoy that space through the abdomen Okay, and then again rolling up. So although again you're dropping through the lumbar spine in cow pose, you're still trying to keep some length. A little engagement through the core, drop through the pelvic floor. I find that stops me going too far into it. And then just coming back to neutral, I'm going to bring it back into um, downward dog now. So just bringing the hands forwards a little, tucking the toes under and we're simply pressing up and back. Let the heels sink down, neck is relaxed. Maybe just bending one knee and then the other. Good. Inhale, exhale. Give the head a little bit of a shake. And then just take the feet back a little bit. So when you come forwards into plank now, you're in the right position. So we want those heels aligned over, over the toes, shoulders over wrists, bend the elbows a little. Again, get that sense that you're tucking the tailbone in and see how that switches on the TBA and pelvic floor. So transverse abdominal muscles, giving a little more work, just above, above the pubic bones really, just around that area. Okay, and then let the knees drop down. Keep the toes tucked under and just let the hips stretch back, acting in the arms this time. So pressing the hands down firmly into the mat. Pressing back up into plank. Pause here. Good. Again, just checking with those alignment cues. Bend the elbows, touch, tuck the tailbone in. Good. Lift pelvic floor. Exhale back into downward dog. Nice. Okay. Great. Lunge position on the right leg. Hover the right foot. Breath in. 
Exhale as you plant the right foot in between the hands. Give it a nudge forwards if it doesn't quite land. That's cool. Okay, and then just let the hips sink forwards, pressing those fingertips down into the floor. I like to be up on the finger and thumb tips to this. It just takes a little pressure off the wrists and it also gives me a bit more space to breathe. And then nice and strong through the back legs. That left heel is pressing away. Good, pausing here. Okay, dropping that left knee down. And then from here, we simply reach up with the arms. So inhale, lift. You can take a twist from here. So just bringing hands to the heart. I'm gonna keep it open. We're bringing right elbow to right thigh. And then just taking a nice big open twist there. Press the hands together so you've got a little traction going on. Good. You can let the hips sink forwards more if you want more opening into the pelvis. Okay, just a standing forward fold now. Hands to the ground. Straighten through both legs. Shorten the stance a little. And then turn the back foot out. Toes at 10 o'clock. And then fold over the front leg. Let the head just relax down. We're sinking the right hip back. Again, just pausing here. Breath in, breath out. Okay, and then just take a big step back now with the left foot and we'll come into crescent lunge. So nice and strong through the legs, reaching up from there, soften the shoulders down. Again, tailbone drawing in. Bend the back leg if you need to. I find that takes a huge amount of pressure off the um, lower back. It also gives a stretch into uh, the rectus femoris, one of the hip flexors, gives a good stretch into there. Good, and then turning the other way now. So now we've got a left elbow coming to outer right thigh, straight and again through the back leg, getting a little stronger now. Good, one more breath. Let's meet in downward dog. Press back. Enjoy the peace in downward dog. If you haven't found peace in downward dog yet, you will, you will, just persevere. <laughs> Good, okay, lifting the left foot up now. And then from here, we're just gonna bring the left foot forwards. Okay, and then just pop in the back knee down onto, onto the, the floor again. Actually, sorry, I'm gonna hold that a little bit longer. We did on the other side, didn't we? <laughs> While I was explaining it. So again, just up onto the fingertips. Press away again with that right foot. Left knee nicely aligned over left ankle. Good, so enjoying that opening through the right hip. So front of the right hips in extension right now. And then again, let's drop the right knee down. We'll come into a twist, but again, keeping it open. So left elbow comes to left thigh, taking a twist there. Shoulders just drawing back and down. Again, just pausing here, enjoying that movement. Feel free to take the hips forwards a little bit more. And then just popping the hands all the way back down, straightening through both legs now, those right toes are at two o'clock. Sinking from here, left hip back, right hip forwards. Inhale, and as you exhale, fold down. Let the head relax. The neck is nice and relaxed. Just pausing here. Oh, enjoy that movement. Enjoy the length through the spine. Inhale, exhale. Taking a big step back now with the right foot. Again, just coming into crescent lunge. So reaching up with the arms now. Shoulders sinking down. Okay, again, I invite you to bend that back leg a little as the tailbone tucks in. Again, reaching up into those fingertips. Inhale, exhale. Enjoy the movement. Oh, great. Okay, one more breath. And then from there, coming into one more twist. So right elbow comes down, pressing into the hands, a nice big rotation, long through the neck, long through the spine. Good job, okay. And then again, let's meet in downward facing dog. So again, just pressing all the way back. Bring the hands back towards the feet now. And we'll just pause here. Pasta, Padanga Stasana. We take the feet apart, about hip width. 
and in the hands, the hastas, slide underneath the hands. Spread the fingers, spread the toes. If you can't reach, just give it a go. Maybe bend the knees if it's not possible. Hands on the floor or blocks or legs, all cool, all good. Exhaling now as you fold down. Again, let the head just hang heavy. Enjoy the opening to the back of the legs. Might be a little uncomfortable to start with. Of course, we, I don't encourage you to work through pain, but sometimes a strong stretch is worth hanging out in because the body starts to unravel. Okay, and then bringing the hands onto the hips now, we'll just roll up through the spine, just coming up nice and slowly. Good job, everyone. And then just taking a moment in mountain pose just to center yourself. So just bringing the feet a little closer together. Arms relaxed down. Shoulders just rolling back and down from there. Okay, let's take a wide step on the mat now. So taking a step forwards with the right, taking a step back with the left. Okay, take the hands onto the hips, we're getting ready for triangle. And just use the right hand to lift that right hip up so we start level, much less strain in the hip joint if we do that. Reaching out, good, and simply turn the arm. Let's bring the right hand to the inside of the right leg as the left arm reaches up. Awesome. Good, again, nice and long through the spine. Lovely, and then stay nice and strong, press firmly into the feet and simply lift. So really use that core as you come up. You're coming back down. Again, really using that core as you move, belly button pulls in, pausing here. Good, this time maybe take that top arm over. Your choice. Extending, Uttita Dukonasana. Good. And then bring the arm back up and again really use that core. Push real firmly into the feet as you lift. Okay, good. One more time. Coming back down. Then take your time. Okay. From here, option to reach way with the right arm. Okay, I feel like uh well, there's people directing the planes now. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, I'll hold it there. And then again, bring the right arm down. Inhale, lift all the way up. And then bring your hands onto hips, goddess pose. Let's take the feet out to either side. Again, get that tailbone drawing down. Don't let the hips tip forward too much. And then sinking down from there. Again, pressing firmly into the feet. Okay, hold it here. Hands onto the thighs now. Okay, thumbs forwards. And then from here, just take a little rotation. <clears throat> nice on the back. And then other side, little rotation, back to center. One more over side. Good, you got it, one more. Breathe, back, inhale, lift, triangle other side. Right foot turns in a little, left toes turn out. Reaching out from there, take your time now. Core nice and strong. And then again, coming down, triangle pose. Okay, bringing that left hand to the inside of the left leg and right arm reaches up from there. You'll notice I'm not going super low in it. I find it a little hard on the back to do that, but feel free to go lower if you have the flexibility. Okay, good. Now really take your time as you come up, push firmly into the feet, really use that core as you lift. Again, belly button drawing in. It's not so much bracing, we're not bearing down, it's more of a drawing in. Using the legs to engage the gall by pressing down firmly into the feet, so you're drawing the energy up, letting it hit the core area. Okay, let's again come back down, get nice and slow. Option to take that top arm over now, just pausing here, just gonna move my mic a little bit. So reaching over from there, again remaining strong in your center. Inhale, exhale. Good job everyone, okay. And now again, just take your time <clears throat> as you again come all the way back up from there. Okay, last time now. Again, coming all the way down. Pausing here. Okay, option now to reach your way with that left arm. If it's too much today, don't do it. Just see how the body feels. My body can't do this some days. Okay, and then again, bringing the arm down if it's lifted. Take your time again as you come up. 
hands to hips. Good job. Turn the toes so they point forwards for a moment. Just take a breather. Mm. Okay, and then we'll return to goddess pose again. Okay, we're going to release a little heat now via a Kriya. So from here, again, just sinking down. I'm going to show you first, then we'll go together again. So sinking down, nice and grounded through the feet. So you kind of feel my barber, like nothing can push you over, that kind of strength. <laughs> Spread the toes. Take your hands to the hips. Pubic bones lift a little as the tailbone draws down. Okay, now you're good. Make fists with the hands. Fists are good sometimes. Okay. And then from here, tuck those elbows in. You're ready to go. We're going to reach forwards, palms down, and we exhale to pull back. Go slowly to start with. <sighs> Breathe in nose, exhale mouth. Make the exhale forceful so you feel the bandas lift. Uddiyana Banda, Mula Banda, pelvic floor, TVA muscle. Let's go. Three more. Relax. Come up. Good job. You're going to go one more time. So take a breath or two, maybe a sip of water. Yada yada. Okay. And then again, come back down. Let's go again. Maybe a little bit lower on the hips this time. Inhale. movement of energy around the solar plexus. You might feel a little funky later. Hmm. Let's heel toe the feet in a little now. Come all the way into mountain pose. Arms relaxed. Good. So hopefully you've released a little stagnant energy. We all have it. <laughs> so you feel a bit more alive around your centre. Shoulders again just drawing back and down. It'll definitely be a little bit hotter. Okay. And then let's come to the back of our mat. We're going to come into, um, we're going to roll down and coming down to the floor. We'll do some postures to cool us down. So from here, we're going to curl all the way down through the spine. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been distracted by that sneeze for about a minute. Okay, so from here, come on forwards. Hands onto the mat and then just sway hip side to side. We're going to slow things down now. So the last few postures were quite heating, some more yang energy. So now we'll go more into our yin energy. So while we're nice and warm, let's use that, utilize that in pigeon pose. So I like to use a block in pigeon. I find it just helps the knees out. Now I'm getting older. So feel free to take a block under the right hip. Hands coming forwards. Right leg moves forwards, of course. And the sitting bone, it's kind of right about the sitting bone, it goes down onto, onto the block. <clears throat> and then we're just simply reaching back with the left leg from there. So pressing the hands down into the mat again so you feel nice and grounded. Drawing up through the spine, the chin is just level to the floor. And then I'm just going to let that left hip drop down a little just to enjoy that stretch through the front of the hip. Feel free to fold forwards if you wish. I'm gonna stay up because the, the sound gets a little muffled when I fold forwards, I think. So I'm just gonna stay here, but do feel free to fold down, coming down onto your forearms. And then taking any other options you're used to that helps you to feel good in your body. It's your body, well, it's on loan to you, but it's uh, you know up to you to do with it what you wish. <laughs> good. All right, so enjoying that feeling through the spine, whether you're up like me or folding forwards. Enjoy that movement from the back. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to take the block out now. Let's just bring it back, box position. And then from here, left leg is just coming forwards there. Block under the left hip. Okay, and then from here, reaching back, reaching back to the, uh, with the right leg. Again, pressing into the hands, long through the spine, chin level to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Good, again, enjoying that opening of the 
hips, upper body, slowing the breath down a little bit now as well. then from here again just letting the um, left hip come down onto the mat now as you bring the legs all the way forward. We'll come now into Paschimottanasana. Now you might like some blocks for the head just so it's a little more supported, a little bit more yang. So the legs are, are pressing into the heels. Okay, I'm just going to set my blocks up like so. And then from here just fall forwards. Don't worry about how low you come. Just see if you can let, let the spine curl a little, let the head just soften down so the back of the neck is nice and long. And just enjoy, enjoy being here in this position. So again, the back of the neck is nice and long. Feel that lovely opening through the spine. And then just a little engagement through the legs, so pressing into the heels, drawing the toes back towards you. Okay, take your time now as you come all the way up, pressing into the hands to lift. We're coming down onto our backs now. So we'll just place the feet flat to the floor. the arms forwards, tuck the pelvis under and roll it down from there. Arms just relax down by your side. Allow the lower back to relax down into the mat now. Okay and then let the arms just rest back, palms facing up. Enjoy that opening through the chest, through the shoulders. Rolling up now, scoop with the pelvis, press firmly into the feet, slowly lift. Take your time as you roll all the way back down. And then again, lifting all the way back up, lifting the hips, pressing again firmly into the feet, pressing the knees together just a little to get that energy through the inner legs too. Energetically that draws up, draws energy up towards the bandas too our internal locks. Let's do one more. Again, scooping with the pelvis, slowly lift. Okay, and then take your time as you roll down. It's gonna bring the legs into tabletop position now. A tiny bit of core work, just a little. Shins level to the floor, get those knees over the hips. See if you can anchor the lower back into the floor. If you can't, then bring the knees in a little more. Arms are down by our side. We're just gonna to touch down real lightly with one foot. Bring it back up, other side, and left. Good. Now as you touch the foot down, try and keep that lower back pressed down into the floor. That's the challenge. If it's too much, you bring the knees in a little and go from there. Maybe you don't even take the foot all the way down, and that's okay. All right, we've got one more to do. Take a rest, draw the knees in, hold it there. Back of the neck nice and long. Oh, shoulder bridge now, feet flat to the floor, arms down by our side, keep the head nice and still, press the hips up. The breastbone is coming towards the chin. We're pressing the arms down into the floor. Maybe interlace the fingers, maybe not, see what feels good. And then again, just press the knees in a little. Feel the engagement through the hips, especially the glutes. And again, enjoy that feeling of strength. Okay, release all the way down now, team. Let the legs drop to one side. I'm taking mine to the left. Supine twist. Arms just relaxing out. Palms facing up. This is a great one to finish on. It's great for the back, for the digestive system. It's calming as well for the nervous system. Just pausing here, two more breaths. Coming all the way over, other side now. So again, just dropping the legs over, 
hold it there, palms facing up. Good, neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. Inhale, exhale. back to the center now and we'll take Shavasana so do try and take a little Shavasana it really helps your nervous system so just letting the hands relax maybe onto the tummy or maybe relaxing them down by your side you might like to have the legs bent or from there maybe reach out with the with the legs let them rest flat to the floor so find a position obviously that's comfortable uh, to you moment to connect with your breath. Taking when you're ready a slow deep inhale, slow deep exhale. And just using the feeling of the breath to bring bring you back into the body. If you left it that is you might not have. Good feel the breath entering the nose or the mouth the breath all the way down for the expansion through the rib cage the lift of the breastbone feel the spine press into the mat as well as you inhale and then as you exhale just letting the body uh, the breath leave the body slow exhale body softens that lovely soft sense of release and then again, just a slow, deep breath in, slow, deep breath out. starts to wonder which it will it's perfectly normal just bring your awareness back to your breath in any kind of relaxation is actually very helpful to have something to focus on and the breath is always there so that's a good a good thing to focus on to help you rest you can stay here a little bit longer that's awesome that's ideal otherwise just stretch into the fingers and toes bend the legs and then just roll over onto your side resting there and then just take your time to come up to sitting like to thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this session and I hope you go on to have a really great day, whatever comes up. <laughs> Namaste.